Hi, I'm Jessica Cameron, and you're watching Tony of the Dead. Stay bloody and alive. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This is on a movie called The Long Island Serial Killer. This is put out by Wild Eye Releasing in association with Lisk Movie and Twitch Twitch Productions. It's also written and directed by Joseph DiPietro. And in this movie, we have Jennifer Polanski, Adam Ginsberg, Dewey Wynn, and Renee Kay. Now what this movie is about, it's based off the serial killers uh, around the, uh, I don't know how to say this name, is it uh, Gilgo Beach around uh, Long Island, uh, the, or the Craigslist Ripper as he's known as. It's about the that serial killer, I don't know if anybody's heard about him back, uh, you know, a little while now, but uh, he's been, he was going around killing, uh, you know, picking up prostitutes and that, and uh, off of Craigslist, and killing them and dumping along the shores on up along the shore of the uh, Gilgo Beach and what this shows is uh, like him stalking some of the women but it also has another story about a girl who she's a waitress she's going to go into school and she just you know she's really slumming it through life and uh, then she ends up doing a story on like prostitution for school and she becomes intrigued with it and she decides she wants to give it a try you know the girl that really told her about it said like uh, the you know the guy that she first encountered she was scared but he was very nice and you know nothing but a nice guy and pleasant all that so and she got paid for it and she had fun and she also liked having men you know want her so She's like, well, you know, maybe I'll do that. So she tries doing it. She puts her name on Craigslist, and sure enough, she starts doing, you know, what they do on Craigslist with that stuff. And sure enough, she comes across the wrong, you know, person that calls. And that's where the story, you know, picks up and everything from there. So yeah, it's it's definitely a, uh, a interesting movie. I didn't really, I don't know anything about the background to this. I've heard about the Craigslist killer ripper or whatever what did i like about this movie i really like the subject it was a very interesting subject uh you know anything with that's like along the lines of like true crime true story based on true events it's very interesting I, I, but the thing is you don't know what is 100 percent real or what did they just throw in the movie um whether or not this is an actual character that this stuff happened to but either way, it was very interesting how it progressed, and you know, you really feel for the girl that gets caught. Uh, Jennifer Polanski, I believe, played the main girl in this movie. Speaking of Jennifer Polanski, uh, her acting was great. She's a she's really a great actress. Uh, I just did another review of her from Blood Riders, and I saw her that uh, she's in this one, and I was like, that's that's crazy. And the funny thing is, in Blood Riders, she's a Satanist, and in this one, she's all about God. So it's like total opposite end. So I thought that was interesting as well. And what did I dislike about this movie? If I had one main gripe about this movie, uh, there were some parts, I guess, I guess that I'll have two gripes about it, but it's nothing major. Uh, you know, it kind of seemed to go on certain scenes a long time, and I guess it really wasn't necessary for that, but it kind of like brings you more about the character so it's good and bad but the other thing is the killer in the movie he he wasn't very convincing he when he was a nice guy he seemed like a nice guy but when he turned into the turn you know the the killer uh, i just i found it not con not believable enough i guess and i guess i wanted more carnage i guess you could say i don't know how that makes me sound you know but uh He's a pretty brutal guy, and uh, you know, the way he left his victims, the way he did to them, and it's just, I kind of wish a little more carnage, or maybe even a little more mystery, because he talked a lot too. But really, that's the only major things, well, the little things, I should say, that I have wrong with this movie. So would I recommend this movie? I'd say give it a shot. It's worth a watch. I liked it. I enjoyed it. Uh, I, like I said, Jennifer Polanski, you know, I now she's on my radar. I, I'm going to watch out for her, uh, watch more of her movies, because I think she just is a terrific actress. And, uh, you know, everybody did a good job in this, really, uh, you know, to one point or another. So I'll put the trailer at the end of this video, so you can check out the trailer. Also, go to the links below and uh, find out, 
you know, I'll find out whatever I can find on this. You can go to the link to, you know, if you want to purchase it. Also check out my links below. You can find my Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Tumblr down there. Also hit this the thumbs up button on this video and subscribe, please. And uh, that's it. So thanks everybody for watching. Talk to you later. Bye. A gruesome discovery on Long Island this morning. The search for missing New Jersey resident and online escort Cheryl Graham led to the discovery of several bodies in an area off Gilgo Beach. If you saw a way out of a future of poverty, wouldn't you go for it, even if it were a little risky? Hi. Did you call for a date? Ten bodies they found, and none of them are Tina or your friend Cheryl. Hello there. This shit's been happening since the days of Jack the River. <coughs> Not the first girl I've tied to this chair. I'm a suspect because of you now. There's no coincidence here that you're down here with me right now. <laughs> she was with you one minute, and the next she's gone without a trace. I never saw this girl before in my life! <laughs> you know what?